This is the NBA Finals, and this is our schedule here on Sky Sports. Game one begins October 1st, 2 a.m., Sky Sports, Miami at LA. And as you can see, the corresponding schedule to follow. Every 48 hours, we'll bring you the best basketball action. And if necessary, after game four, we'll maybe go into game five, game six, and game seven with the being the early morning of October the 14th. Could be a seven game schedule, could be absolutely anything. Ah, gentlemen, we finally got to where we needed to get to. Yeah. I, I, I had to take a deep breath because Bam versus AD is going to be incredible. LeBron versus Jimmy, we've built up already. The Heat culture versus Laker Nation. This is everything we have been waiting for. And Ovi, I need to get your response. How are you expecting these finals to go? I'm not going to lie. I've been guessing up Jimmy the whole time, but <laughs> where, 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 my, where my broom at? Where my, where my, where my broom at? Man? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I picked the Lakers. I picked the Lakers at the beginning of the season. COVID, no COVID. Bubble, no bubble. LeBron James, AD championship. Ooh, conclusive. 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 You know why? Because they, 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 they haven't even really shown. They, they still got another level. They're going to keep on kicking it up. And once they get into that top gear, I just don't think um, Miami Heat have, have the horsepower to, you know, to, to really keep up. Mo, I have to ask you then, because you watched the Heat very closely in that Eastern Conference Finals against your Boston Celtics. So real close. Knowing he how them great... real close. Real close. <laughs> knowing how good <laughs> knowing how good this Miami Heat has team has been especially oh, in the bubble and the standard <laughs> that they've set I ask you what are their chances against the Lakers you know I was watching that Heat so series very close I mean I was trying to tune in for a Phoenix Suns game but they haven't had one in like two months so I couldn't find out <laughs> so the TV guy so hold that, that my show. dog you can hold that everyone is but, um, so petty on this show you know we're going to talk about the Miami Heat now Now, what I'm looking at in this series is what, what the Heat won that series with was their defence the defensive schemes they were supposed to draw up were absolutely phenomenal and it was the zone defence that really gave the Celtics some real problems now, the difference between the Celtics and the Lakers is they have the Lakers have what I will call someone who can bust that zone in terms of Anthony Davis getting onto that nail spot, which is in the middle of the free throw line, where he can get into that spot and operate out of there, making the correct reads, whether it's shooting a jump shot from there, taking it to the hole, or even pa passing and finding his teammates. They've got players like LeBron James and Rajon Rondo, who are seasoned veterans, who have seen almost anything you could throw at them, whereas the Celtics were a young team. So, you know, I'm expecting the Heat to give them, give them a good fight, uh, but but I do think the Lakers will come out with this one because for me the Heat, you know, you've got two guys on your on your lineup on the floor there that are just liabilities defensively. You know, we've seen as we said earlier what LeBron did hunting out Jamal Murray and and Michael Porter Jr. in those mismatches. If he gets those switches onto Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson, it's going to be a long night for the Miami Heat. But what, what they do have, unlike a lot of other teams, is Bam can match up well with Anthony Davis and Jimmy Butler, Jay Crowder, and Andre Iguodala have all got uh, a lot of experience guarding LeBron James. So, you know, I don't think the series is going to be a complete whitewash with Lakers winning every game by 20. Uh, I would be very surprised if that happened. I feel like the Heat can maybe steal a game or two. But definitely, as I said, I've been saying on this show for the whole year that I think the Lakers are going to win this title. Um, so I, I would be very, very surprised if LeBron James isn't lifting that title at the end of this season. BJ, Miami will have a lot to say in these finals, no matter what, because the Miami culture is, is a standard. They compete at every level. That has been set from Alonzo Mourning and Tim Hardaway, pushed on to Shaq and D-Wade, and now this three-headed monster that they have all around the bubble. I'm just asking you, are we downplaying the Miami Heat and their potential impact they could have for an upset? Well, you're always downplaying when you come into a situation because this Miami Heat has proven to be a very dangerous team. And... They have exceeded beyond all of our expectations. Now, the thing that I'm most interested in coming into this series is what are the Miami Heat going to do to take away something? Just take away something from the L.A. Lakers. Because right now, the combination of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they've kind of steamrolled through the playoffs thus far. You know, Rondo has been a tremendous player for the Lakers because he's added another 
a ball handler to the mix, which allows LeBron James to score and score at a high clip. So I'm looking for the Miami Heat to come out first and foremost is to figure out what can we take away? I expect the Miami Heat to try to play a lot of zone. Coach Spo knows LeBron James. He understands the game. And I expect him to get into his to his bag, his bag of tricks, because whoever can take away something from the other team gives them an advantage. I think the Miami Heat have enough offense to score because they have shooters. They can play in transition. But most importantly, you know, I think this team could play and score in the last four minutes of a ball game. But first, I think what the coach Spo and staff are going to have to figure out how to do is how to take away something from this L.A. Laker team. Because if they go exclusively zone, I think the Lakers could settle into a rhythm. I don't think they can match it with LeBron James and Anthony Davis if they play exclusively man to man. But if they can junk up the game a little bit throw the rhythm off of the Lakers, I think it gives them a chance. I'm still picking the Lakers because of their talent, but I think this team is going to compete. And I know with a team that's, you know, led right now by Jimmy Butler and crew, they're going to battle. So I'm not concerned about them playing hard and giving, you know, playing the game tough and doing all the things. I think it should be a good series and I'm looking forward to it. Look, we all know LeBron James has an encyclopedia when it comes to basketball knowledge, but I've seen him in the final struggle against that zone defense before. I hop back to that Dallas series. So I ask, how important is this NBA Finals trip for LeBron's legacy? I'm just leaving that as an open question because I just want to see who harks him first. I mean, LeBron, oh, LeBron James. Do what he does. Go on. See, oh, there you go. go. Yeah, I'm going at the same time. Go, 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 go for it, bro. Go for it. Go for it. Go for I just it. wanted to see who was going to jump in first. I insist. Mo, you you've been in every conversation today. Someone else has to talk. To you. <laughs> there's, 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 there's hey, I'll be talking here. buckets, bro. If there's you ain't got that, to say that, say that. There's four screens, hey. But anyway, no, I feel like LeBron's gonna. You know, he's been here before. He's been waiting to to get to the to the finals. He's at the point in his career where, um, you know, like BJ, I think he was saying last week. You have Anthony Davis who can he can defer to for, you know, for the 48 minutes throughout the season. But now it's the NBA Finals. I don't think LeBron James is really going to be doing much deferring in the Finals. He knows there's seven more games, potentially. Um, and, and yeah, it's all business. You know, he wasn't about celebrating the, the conference championship. Leave that for Miami. Leave that for the Young Bucks, the guys who haven't been there before. Leave that for AD. He hasn't, he hasn't experienced it before. Cool. LeBron, he's, he's seen it all before. Do you know what I mean? And, and, you know, he knows what it means to be in this situation. And, you know, I, I, I just can't see LeBron James letting, letting it slip away, you know? And on top of that, even the other guys, like we discussed, AD, Dwight Howard, um, I think they're going to beat them up on the glass. You know, I, 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 Lakers just pose so many issues. And I don't think Miami have really seen enough of that in the, especially in the East, like, you know, the East ain't the same like the West. It's not built the same, you know, anyone, anyone can win in, anyone can win in the East. Anyone can win out there. The West. Hey, DJ, 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 what do they call it? The wild, wild West. Is that what they call it? The wild, wild West. The West. I miss it very just again. The East ain't what it was when you was playing. It's not the same. Now, you know. The West, that's where all the real dogs are. That's where the real, the real dogs, you know. But hey, go ahead, Mo. You, you know, know, so, 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 you know, there's two things. Just going back to JD, what he said about the 2011 uh, Dallas series. LeBron James is not the same player that he was back then. For me, there was two phases of LeBron James' career. There's before Game Six of the 2012 Eastern Conference Finals, and there's after that game because you all know the meme of LeBron James just giving that death there during that game. That, for me, was when he really flipped the switch and became a killer on the court. That 2011 series, possibly the biggest meltdown we've ever seen from a superstar in this league on the biggest of stages. But, you know, the biggest thing for LeBron James, for me, why I respect him so much, is he's done a fantastic job at overcoming every criticism that anyone's thrown at him. All the things that you could say about LeBron, each year we see him getting stronger and stronger. And, you know, they say it's not about how many times you fall over. It's about how you keep getting up and responding to that once you've fallen. So, you know, he he's overcome his obstacles throughout his career and he's taken all of that experience on board to become, you know, the beast that he is today. Um, and then just, just for Ovi and, you know, his constant criticism for the Eastern Conference, uh, by default, you're then disrespecting uh, LeBron's record of how many nine Eastern Conference, uh, nine NBA finals in the last 10 years. Hey, you're saying hey, he didn't hey, have hey. to face any competition. You're then disrespecting the LeBron why, James. So if you want to keep helping on about the Eastern Conference being a week, 
If you want to keep saying he's covered this week, you could take away those MVPs from him. You could take away all those finals players from him. You just make sure when we're discussing LeBron James, you keep that same energy because I will be here to remind you about what you've been saying. Just know, Mo won't forget. To all, we to get a chance. No, we home, get a chance. To all the viewers at home, Mo, his team just lost. If you're not aware, he's a Boston fan. <laughs> He's hot right now. <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit upset. I'm not mad. Yeah. And I'm not everyone, mad. No, Yo, no. Everyone set that. him off. No. Go watch the yeah. show from two weeks ago. We'll I predicted get, Miami to make the we'll finals. To I predicted it. We'll get I can't be mad about something I predicted. If, we'll get a chance to work out if LeBron James can seal his legacy and improve everything that he has built so far in the NBA finals. Mm-hmm.